Supporting your team is fun until a player gets hurt and they're out for the season and have to go to rehab. This is an ACL injury, one of the most common sports injuries and it's related to the anatomy of the knee. There are four major ligaments that stabilize the knee, the lateral and medial collateral ligaments and the posterior and anterior cruciate ligament, which cross at the center of the knee. The collaterals provide sideways stability. Your ACL prevents your tibia from moving forward and the PCL prevents it from moving backward. ACL injuries usually result from a rotational stress. When the ACL is torn, the tibia can move forward too much, resulting in instability. Patients frequently report hearing or feeling a popping sensation. The knee tends to give out when pivoted or changing direction. In week one post-surgery, the goals are to improve quadricep function, maintain patella mobility, achieve range of motion between 0 to 90 degrees, and to control swelling. Swelling can be controlled with ice packs, and quadricep function can be improved via neuromuscular electrical stimulation. Patella mobility is achieved with patella glides. These are done laterally and medially, and then superiorly and inferiorly. Heel glides can be done to improve flexion, gliding the heel and making sure to flex and extend the knee. Quad sets can be done to improve extension. Here the patient draws a towel and places it under the knee, then extends the leg and tenses the quadriceps with toes pointing towards themselves. In week three, goals include progressing to full weight bearing, weaning from crutches is tolerated and progressing with range of movement. Stationary bicycles can be used to progress with range of movement. The unaffected leg does the work with the affected leg resting on the pedal. Alternatively, this exercise can be done if patient has no access to a bicycle. Here, an elastic rope or even a towel can act as a pedal. Basic body weight strengthening exercises include the wall squat, one of the most basic exercises. The patient stands shoulder width apart, goes down slowly and contracts quads as they come up, especially on the affected side. Once comfortable with this and weight bearing, standing knee abduction can be done. If weight bearing is not possible, this can be done on the ground. Standing knee abduction can also be done if weight bearing is possible, both on your affected and unaffected leg, so hip muscles can act as both a stabilizer and a primary mover of the motion. If weight bearing is not possible, it can be done as a clam on the ground as shown. Once comfortable with weight bearing, resisted exercise can be attempted. Start on the lightest weight and progress as tolerated. These exercises should be done in the presence of a trained physiotherapist and thereafter at home for practice. After full rehab, most patients regain function of the knee and can return to sports. This, however, doesn't guarantee that they'll be good at it.